Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chat Over Drinks. On this episode, I'll be discussing the movie Ghost in the Shell. But first, we gotta make a cocktail. And that cocktail is the Gimlet. Go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below to find out when I do more videos like this one. It's time for the COD. Let's get this started. A couple of weeks ago, I made a uh, Negroni? Yeah, and that was a gin-based drink. And when I was making it, I told you guys that I thought that gin, well, I always felt that gin was an old lady drink. Well, since then, I've been informed that gin is not an old lady drink and its origins come from the UK, like, Navy. Um, so I'm going to give gin another try. I always say that, but I'm going to give gin another try. And today I'm going to make the gimlet. I'm going to fill the shaker up with ice. Back in the dizzy, to prevent the sailors from getting scurvy, they used to use limes to boost up their vitamin C. And then when limes weren't on rations anymore or something like that, I don't know, they started uh, putting lime juice in with the gin and that's how the gimlet was born. It calls for two ounces of gin. Traditionally, what the sailors drank was a gin that was like 57% proof. That was because if they spilled their drink on the gunpowder, then the gunpowder was still light. <laughs> that's nice. I'm not doing that now. This is 40% and that's just fine with me. Now we're going to do an ounce of simple syrup and an ounce of lime juice. Lime juice and simple syrup. Half an ounce of each. In with the gin. Now we're gonna give it a good shake. I'm learning there's no cool way to shake. There you go. Before I give it a taste, I'm just gonna garnish it with a lime wheel. Just to make it fancy. Oh, that's really, really nice. Yup. I'm gonna like this one. Okay, so Ghost in the Shell. It's this futuristic sci-fi movie that takes place in the future. It's during a time where like, the line between humans and ro robots, it's merging or something like that. I don't know where it is. I don't know if it's Tokyo or if it's, it's some Asian country or some Asian city. You know you're in that part of the world. It stars Scarlett Johansson, and I didn't see anybody else in the movie that I recognized. I'm not too quite sure if I can subscribe yet to Scarlett Johansson being an action star. She's pretty. She's a good actress. Don't know if I can subscribe. That's the pure and honest truth. This movie here, it it she's like this ultimate fifth element esque special force. Yeah, she was part of a special force. She was supposed to be like this emotion emotionless fighter. I just don't know if I bought her. I mean, the movie was watchable, but I felt like I had seen the movie before. Like I feel like the story has been told to me in so many different ways that nothing really surprised me. So basically, this girl supposedly dies and then her brain, here we go with brains again, I just got over Get Out, and then here we go with brains again. Her brain gets put into a robot that is in the human form, but the robot still has the ability to learn and to 
to deduce and to, to think like a human would. The whole premise of the film is that the ghost, the soul of the actual person, still remains within this shell of a, of a robot. And the whole movie is about uh, Scarlett Johansson's character, her name was Major, discovering her ghost and learning about her past. She's been told over and over and over that she's the only one and come to find out that she's not. There's been others before her that were that have that failed and they're now trying to, to, to contact her to let her know Hey this is what's going down. You need to you need to you need to be real. That's basically the movie. I just feel like there was a whole lot of people taking ideas from other people. Like, like the city that they were in, it had evolved where like there wasn't billboards anymore. There were these giant holograms. It'll be like two giant uh, koi fish sw swimming around a skyscraper. Almost looked like Korra, Legend of Korra, when she opened up the portal to the spirit world. Kind of like that. The second one was Major herself. Whoever designed that looked like they took like major influence from Bjork's All Is Full Of Love music video. But I had some questions. I do have questions. I just saw a Korean woman's brain or an Asian woman's brain get put into a body of a race that's not her own. I didn't get that. Lucy Liu is, must be pissed. Lucy Liu still got everything tight, right? And I would have believed it just as much, and the movie would have been just as good. Probably even better. The other character that was the robot before Major, he seemed to be the bad person. And when he was the bad person, he was a bit slimy, a little bit more ill. And as the movie progressed, and you find out that, hey, actually, he's not the bad person. He's actually the good one, and you, you do want to feel for him he becomes more and more beautiful. Maybe we are superficial and we want to root for the people who are pretty. This is bad. This is really bad because I have nothing to say else about this. I wouldn't say that it's a film that you'll go to the movie theater to see. It's definitely a film that I would wait for it to come in Netflix because it's a good film. It's watchable. You can watch it, but you need to be on your sofa with your comforter or your duvet cover over you on a Sunday afternoon with a box of pizza in front of you and you are going nowhere and you are just there. And the, you can watch the movie and the movie can watch you and things like that because I honestly think that if you fell asleep for about 10, 15 minutes, during the film when you woke up, you used to be able to catch up. You ain't miss nothing. Total honesty right there. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button below because if you do, you're gonna find out when I do more videos like this one. And you're also gonna find out the other videos that I did like these ones. Give them a watch. You know you wanna. So go ahead and do it. <laughs> I'll wait. Mmm. Limey.